Blog Talk Radio. Welcome, you're listening to Perfectly Healthy and Tone Radio with your host, Darren Batman McDuck. And now, prepare to get fat. Hey, 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 what's cracking? This is Darren Fatman McDuffie, your host for tonight, and welcome back to another episode of Perfectly Healthy and Tone Radio. So I have a lot of people on my switchboard, which means Dr. C. Becker is very, very popular, and I don't know who is actually Dr. C. Becker, so I'm going to have to ask if you're Dr. C. Becker to hit one on the switchboard so I can see you and bring you on. Before I bring Dr. C. Becker on, um, just a couple of announcements here. If you have not connected with me on Facebook, please do so. My Facebook is facebook.com, I'm the fat man.com, and that's I, the letter M, the fat man, and fat is spelled P H A T. Uh, connect with me on Twitter as well. Twitter is the fat underscore man, and you can connect with me on Twitter as well. Uh, before I bring Dr. C. Becker on, I got a vent, y'all. I just got a vent. I've had numerous problems with my internet. I've had AT&T out here about five or six times. They cannot figure out what's going wrong with the internet. So I'm at the point where I'm just about to yank the whole thing out. But, uh, they came by yesterday and fixed it. I thought I would have to postpone the show, but I, obviously I don't. And, uh, I'm just really frustrated with, uh, AT&T at this point. I had the vent, so I got that out and uh, waiting on Dr. C. Becker. Dr. C. Becker, if you are out there, please hit the number one on your switchboard so I'll be able to see you and I can bring you on. So I'm not sure where um, she is here, so let me try to see if I cannot. Dr. C. Becker, is that you? One, two. Okay, that's not her. Dr. Seebecker, are you there? Dr. Seebecker, are you there? If you're talking to me, it's I'm not. Hello, this is Dr. Seebecker. That's not her. Dr. Seebecker, is that you? Hi, I'm here. Oh, okay. I've never had this many people in my switchboard, so I have no idea who is who. And there's a bunch of 503 numbers, which I know is Oregon, where you are, but I just didn't know if that was you or not. So I didn't read your bio. Let me read your bio before I bring you on, okay? Sure. Okay, let me do that. All right, y'all. This is I've never had this many people on my switchboard. I just started this show probably back in September, but I'm glad everyone is tuning in to actually hear Dr. C. Becker. It seems like she's very popular. But uh, Dr. Allison C. Becker has worked in the nutritional field since 1988 and is a 2005 graduate of the National College of Natural Medicine, where she earned her doctorate in naturopathic medicine and her master's in oriental medicine. Dr. Seebeck is the medical director of the SIBO Center for Digestive Health at NCNM Clinic in Portland, Oregon, where she specializes in the treatment of SIBO. She is an instructor of advanced gastroenterology at NCNM, teaches continuing education classes for physicians, and is the author of the educational website SIBOinfo.com and is writing a book synthesizing the SIBO data into one source. In 2005 and 2013, she received the Best in Naturopathy Award from the Townsend Letter for, of, for her article, Traditional Bone Broth in Health and Disease and Small Intestinal Bacterial Overgrowth, Often Overlooked Cause of IBS. And we will be discussing that a little bit more tonight. So let me bring her back on. Dr. C. Becker, welcome to Perfectly Healthy and Tone Radio. How are you tonight? Hi, it's so good to talk to you again. I know, right? I just talked to you probably, what, like a month ago when we had you on the Wellness Warrior uh, podcast? Yeah, and that was really fun. So I'm looking forward to this tonight. Yeah, I don't have Diane with me, my partner in crime, so I'm just doing it alone. I'm doing it solo tonight, but it should be a fun show. Definitely. (laughs) Yep, yep. 
So let's go ahead and get started. I have a ton of people in the switchboard, so I, I had like 20 questions here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to them all. But if you have a question and you want to dial in, for those who are not on the switchboard already, the number is 646-716-9371. Again, 646-716-9371. And if you're listening and you have a question, please hit 1 on your um on your keypad, and I'll know that you have a question, and I'll bring you on to ask uh, Dr. C. Becker your question. So let's get right into it, Dr. C. Becker. So what brought you on this journey and uh, about knowing more about SIBO? I know the story myself, but I'd like for you to share it with the audience. Oh, yeah. It's it's like so many people's story. I had digestive problems ever since I was a child and had been searching for a cause, and I had been to naturopathic medical school, still couldn't find a cause, and I saw all the all the best teachers at... Are, are, are you hearing me okay, Darren? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Oh, perfect. I keep hearing uh, saying muted and unmuted, so I, I got a little distracted. Okay. Um, yeah, so I saw all these wonderful doctors, and no one could figure it out, and so that sure meant that there was missing information. And finally, when I... Um, when I I was I had originally read Breaking the Vicious Cycle that um, Elaine Gottschall wrote that describes the specific carbohydrate diet. I'd read it when I was in school, but I just didn't have the time to pay attention to it well enough because I was so busy. So when I reread it, it kind of started coalescing. And um, she was describing basically describing SIBO, but she didn't call it that. And then and then my uh, my my gastroenterology professor had heard of the term SIBO. And when we were talking about her book, he mentioned that term to me, and that just that was all I, I kind of needed. I started looking on PubMed and reading all about it, and I, I mean, for goodness sakes, there have been all these articles about it. And so I just felt like I knew so many other people like me who had uh, mysterious digestive troubles that the, the best of the best couldn't seem to help. And so that just, just really fired me up. I wanted to help other people who had similar problems to me. That, so that's kind of the story. Oh, okay, okay. Now, for those you mentioned SIBO out there, and and um, we've I, I mentioned that we were on another podcast, Wellness Warrior podcast. And for those people out there who might not be familiar with SIBO, can you describe it for them? Oh yeah. So it stands for small intestine bacterial overgrowth, and um, it is just what it sounds like. It's when a whole bunch of bacteria make a home for themselves, uh, they colonize the small intestine, which they're not supposed to do. And these are the bacteria that would normally be in the large intestine where they're, where they're supposed to be and where they do good things for us. But in the, um, in the small intestine, that's the improper location, and they just create a lot of havoc um, and create a lot of symptoms for us. That's, that's basically the, the shorthand of what it is. Okay. Okay. Dr. Seebecker, can you dial back in for me? I'm getting some kind of clicking noise on the other end. Can you just hang up and dial back in um, real quick? Oh, sure. Okay. No problem. Live radio, folks. I'm, I'm going to wait for her to just dial back in real quick and see if we can not get rid of that clicking noise because I'm, I'm hearing it in my headphones. I know it's if I can hear it, you probably can hear it. It's, it's annoying. So give me a second here and let me see if she calls back in here. So bear with me a minute here. Okay, you there? Hi, I'm here. Okay, sounds a little bit better. All right, that clicking noise is going there. All right, so oh, yeah. you talk yeah, so you said what SIBO was. Now, what are the symptoms uh, for, for SIBO, Dr. Becker, C. Becker? Well, um, the, the main symptoms are digestive symptoms, and they're the same symptoms as IBS. So it's bloating, you know, abdominal bloating, and that could either be the, the sensation as if you're bloating or the physical swelling, the distension, um, where the abdomen swells out. So bloating and then either constipation or diarrhea or a mixture of the two, and then abdominal pain, which could be felt just as discomfort or it could be cramps, but some kind of, some level of pain. Those are the main symptoms of IBS. Now, um, not everyone with SIBO has all of those symptoms all at the same time. Sometimes people have figured out ways to calm one of those symptoms. 
and so they may mm-hmm. not be experiencing it anymore. Or maybe they've taken some supplements or you know, done something. Um, but then additionally, there's some other digestive symptoms that are pretty common that go along with it. Those were the main ones, but some other ones could be um, acid reflux, nausea. Um, sometimes people have a sensation that um, or a feeling that food just sits in, sits in their stomach and doesn't go down, move downward. And then there can be...